Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Reloaded calf. Now this is another new ROM or probably this is a ROM I'm trying on the Pocophone F1 for the first time and that's the reason it is a part of the install and preview and you might be wondering what is going on since the last few days. Well we have 10 or 12 odd ROMs that we have not tried on the Pocophone F1. So we first always you know go ahead and install them and preview them and after that whatever ROMs we feel are good enough for a full review we go ahead and put in that effort and give you a full review and maybe by the end of July you will have one or two ROMs which will come out as the best ROMs if that is the question that you have and remember every day in the morning at 9 a.m we have a video premiering on smartphone tutorials it is about a smartphone and most of the time it is about pocophone f1 because this is the go-to device right now for us and every day in the evening from 6 p.m to 9 p.m we stream games like pubg and a few other online games and offline games as well but before we do all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time you a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kailash let's get going All right guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to install Reloaded CAF. Now this is a different ROM with CAF features and the name of the ROM is Reloaded CAF. There are a few people who have requested me in the live stream and in the comment section to install this ROM. So let's have an install and preview and maybe later we will go ahead and do a full review on this one. So first things first, you need to have at least 50% battery. Make sure all your data is backed up. You need to have an unlocked bootloader and you you need to have TWRP installed. The files that you will need of course as always are vendor firmware, ROM file, open Google Apps, DFE with Majisk. All four files should be copied in your phone's internal memory or SD card. Depends on your preference. Now once you've done all of that you just need to go to wipe, advanced wipe, Delvic cache, system data, swipe to wipe and once the wipe is complete we will start queuing files so go to install and first select the vendor firmware, add more zips and reloaded calf, add more zips and then select open Google Apps and then select the DFE with Majisk, swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash will take anywhere between three to five minutes because these are four different files. One of them is a ROM, one of them is GApps. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now as you can see, the ROM has been installed. All the finds were successfully flashed. So wipe cache in Dalvik and reboot system. Now the first boot will take anywhere between two to five minutes. Please be very, very patient. And uh, I'm trying this ROM after a very, very long time. So actually, let's go ahead and have a look at the boot animation. And as I tell you in my each and every video, it is very normal for the phone to reboot after showing you a splash of the first boot screen. So wait for the phone to boot up and it will boot up just fine. So even this ROM, like a few other ROMs, has a very, very basic Google boot animation. So let's wait for it to boot up. All right. So as you can see, we are on the home screen of reloaded calf let's actually go ahead and reduce the brightness a little bit so that you can see clearly all right there we have it so this again is a very very smooth rom now if we swipe to the left we do have the google now feed and if we go to the app menu you will notice that we do have a few applications which is the camera it's a default google camera not gcam but google camera now again if we go to settings over here and say if we go to about now this is the 9.0 official reloaded version and the security patch of course is the 5th of June 2019. Let's see what is different when it comes to settings. First of all it doesn't have a black theme which is always a welcome addition at least for me. I know it doesn't really really make a lot of difference to these uh, devices which have LCD displays. In fact it doesn't make any difference at all but still a black theme looks much much better. So what do we have here? We have network and internet, connected devices, apps and notification, all the usual stuff. Um, do we have? Okay. So we do have something called a system tuner. Now this is their version of giving you a customization option. And from what it looks like, it does have very, very basic customization. All the basic amenities like uh, you know, basic features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 
voice over LT, voice calling work fine. Video calling and all works or not, I will cover that in the full review. But as of now, all the basic things are working just fine. So you do have a status bar customization, like you can add the voice over LT icon over here. You will see that it says HD LTE. And if you go back and you use the navigation bar, you can use the customization for that as well. Lock screen customization, it does have face auto unlock buttons and power menu well you can go ahead and select say recovery do we have a recovery option not really but that's fine so more or less this rom is very very smooth it looks extremely extremely similar to lineage os yet again you do have digital well-being which is integrated in the settings menu just like all the other custom roms so if we go to system over here you do have some options over here as well like system updates and all let's go ahead and check okay so it does have ota updates and funny enough it is basically in black color theme so i think we can do that with substratum and other things like that but more or less it's a very very basic rom with minimalistic amount of customizations we do have gallery and a few other things included but more or less it's a very very good rom you do have a very very clean looking interface which is usually the case with all roms based on uh, aosp so let me know in the comment section how much would you rate this rom out of 10 and how do you think the first impressions of this rom are and do give this video a like because it really really helps this channel a lot and i will be using this in the next few days and in july on one of the days in july you will see a full review for this particular rom so until then this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye